Hi, if you want to do your master's or PhD from King Abdullah University of Science and Technology, Saudi Arabia, then this video is for you. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my YouTube channel Accelerator. I hope you all are doing well and safe. I am Sultan Sheikh, PhD scholar at Ahmad bin Khalifa University, Qatar. In this video, I am going to talk about King Abdullah University of Science and Technology admission process which is currently open and the deadline for submitting the application is 7th january 2023 so apply as soon as possible so let me tell you about the programs first then i will tell you about the application process okay so uh, i had uh, put this link in the description of this video uh, once you open this link you will find this web page and now here you can check here the programs okay and uh, now uh, there are three different uh, uh, deviants actually uh, biological and environmental sciences and engineering computer electrical and mathematical science and engineering and another is a physical science and engineering so you can check different departments in these division and uh, uh, you have to check the different professor if you want to know more about uh, uh, faculty or courses you can check uh, these programs in detail okay so in uh, uh, computer electrical and mathematical science and uh, uh, engineering these are four different departments and uh, in uh, physical science and engineering uh, these are different departments which includes chemistry chemical engineering etc okay now how you can apply for this scholarship so i am going in the admission section now here you can see that applications for spring and fall 2023 are open so the deadline for ms ms phd and phd degree applicants for fall entry date is uh commencing august 2023 is 7 january 2020 so you have to submit the application before it okay now what are the application requirements so these are the application requirements which you can see here official university transcripts uh, cv statement of purpose three letters of recommendation official TOEFL or ielts academic score and official GRE score which is not compulsory but uh, it is encouraged uh, and it will uh, increase your chances of the admission okay now if you want to know more about uh, each and every document in detail then you can uh, you know uh, go here school uh, report the transcript uh, they uh, mentioned here about the detailed you know description about the transcript as well as the reports um the cv and resume they mentioned about the cv resume what you should include in your cv and how you should write your statement of purpose what should be the limit of the words and uh, who can write the letters of recommendation for you how many letters of recommendations are required and uh, what is the procedure to submit the recommendation later okay and regarding the gre uh, but before gre this is a, a new english language so these are the different english uh, language test which is actually new for the 2023 they have a little bit changed their criteria so you can uh, take different uh, you know language tests. Uh, only official academic results will be accepted okay uh, test administered by an education institution for admission to that particular institution are not acceptable and english score is not required if the applicant receive a degree from an accredited institution in the united states canada the united kingdom ireland australia or new zealand okay so uh, you have to keep this thing in your mind and uh, uh, GRE is not compulsory okay so you can submit application without GRE so this is the application process for uh, this is scholarship now let me tell you uh, fellowship data uh, what should be the scholarship amount uh, what should be the benefits so they mention here that tuition free graduate programs every admitted student and the cost fellowship which grants them Full free tuition support, monthly living allowance, which varies from twenty thousand to thirty thousand annually, uh, depending on qualification and degree progress. Uh, uh, so I believe it is different for the master's and PhD program on campus housing, medical and dental coverage, and relocation support. So it is a very uh, good scholarship. So you must apply if you are eligible. If you have any other question, kindly let me know in the comment box below. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.